we've come to Parvici. We're here because the reviews on the food have been amazing, so we had to come check it out. In Italy, I had this um, caprese salad, but this one looks a little bit different. It's more colorful. Yeah, the first thing that I noticed are the vibrant colors of this. The huge piece of mozzarella in the middle. Tomatoes with, what's that? This looks a, like a tomato broth. Tomato broth, some olive oil. It looks so good. so good. You have to get some tomatoes on there too. Okay, and some pickled cucumbers? Yeah, pickled cucumbers. So this is the cavatelli, yeah. pasta, you can see the mushrooms, the tomatoes and some herbs, some sort of cheese, and these look like um, handmade like pasta. Oh, so good, yes. Okay, let's dive in. Mm. Mm. It tastes so fresh. Yeah. Like you can totally tell that they had made this in the kitchen. Definitely. It still has that firmness yeah. to it. It's not like soggy pasta. It's like firm. The mushrooms taste so the fresh. Pasta. Like they just donate it in their backyard or something like yeah. that. These look so good. The tomato sauce. Okay, I can't wait. I I'm in. I want to taste this. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that one's hard. Yes. Mm. 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 Oh my god. Oh yeah. Yeah. They weren't oh, kidding yeah. when they said they was like, this is gonna challenge your mama's meatballs. Yes. <laughs> Somebody's mama's oh, meatballs. So they have two different meatballs on the menu, right? Oh. One they have meatless. It's plant based. Oh. This one, we're definitely meat eaters. Yeah. So. I mean, if you're a vegan and you wanna experience the Fobichi meatballs, mm -hmm. then um, they have a vegan option, which you can definitely try. It's definitely meaty. You can tell there's not like a bunch of fillers in it, like yeah. breadcrumbs or anything. It's, it's packed with meat. It's so good in the sauce. It's not too What we tried to establish here with Fort Beachy is we wanted to create a neighborhood restaurant built for the community. And we have guests here that come three, four times a week to eat, and they're regulars. This is their hangout. And we just wanted people to come in and expect to feel like they're home. It's all food that people can relate to growing up, right? Chicken parmesan, veal parmesan, meatballs, spaghetti, cacio pepe. So we came up with your traditional, fundamental, basic Italian dishes. And on top of that, we've added some new style, like impossible meatballs. We have meatballs that are incredible, made out of impossible meats. Or we have vegan salads. You can do an Erica salad, which is absolutely fantastic, with cashew dressing and dried cherries and marcona almonds, but it's vegan. So we're catering to the movement that is happening in the food world and our community and their dietary habits and also catering towards those who love to have the staple traditional foods that they grew up loving as a kid. This Roman style pizza, Pizza Telia, has been around for about 10 years. So it's fairly new style of pizza and I've been watching it trend for a little while now and it's, it's starting to get very popular in New York and other cities. And I just thought it was a perfect opportunity for me to be able to showcase this new Roman style, you know, Telia pizza that I've been wanting to do for a while. There's no other pizza place in all of Tampa that is doing this style pizza. We are truly the first Roman style pizza place. I'm so excited to try the pizza. Oh, yeah. There's sausage pizza. Mm -hmm. And the mushroom pizza, with a, it's like a fungi pizza. And then that one that's off the menu right yeah, now, so it's like brand it's new. new, the white pizza. Okay, I'm so excited to try the um, mushroom pizza. <laughs> okay, go, go ahead. ahead. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna do the brand new white one first. 
Look at how thick this is. So light and airy. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Oh yeah. You know how the dough like doesn't it's not very heavy so it doesn't really fill you up like a lot of the you know like a lot of the pizza joints where they have like really thick dough mm -hmm. but this one it's light and airy and then the mushroom and the sauce drizzled over it yeah fantastic combination perfect. what about the mushroom so i'm a mushroom girl so yeah, me like, too like, okay <laughs> yep yep you're right yeah okay so for the sausage pizza let's just cut it in half because I love you, I'm gonna share it with you. Okay, thanks. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, ready? Cheers. 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 <laughs> so it's spicy. Mm -hmm. So I guess it has some chili over it. Just all. Yeah. The sausage has a little kick to it too. Yeah. It's definitely like a spicy sausage. Yeah. So if so you like pizza, if you like your um, pizza spicy, um, and this yeah, this is sausage. And this has broccoli rab on it too, which is different for me and pizza. Okay, okay. time! Yay! So this is their lemon and olive oil cake. I heard that instead of using butter, they replace it with olive oil. So that makes it even like healthier. Yeah, perfect. So it has whipped cream with some lemon zest, some berries. Yum! Okay, let's dig in. Yeah. Mm. I want some of the berries and the whipped cream. Mmm. With the lemon. Oh, that's super soft. I haven't tasted anything like this before. The lemon. It's like a party in your mouth. Yeah. So there you have it. If you're looking for an Italian cuisine and you're in the Hyde Park area, Forbici is the place to go. So if you guys have a favorite restaurant in the Tampa Bay area that you think we need to check out, then put it in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for the hottest restaurants and food reviews.